Exotic equipment in Destiny 2 is designed to push and pull your playstyle in different ways. Some drastically augment your character's abilities, while others provide subtle statistical benefits and utility. Today, we're going to talk about a Warlock exotic chess piece called the Vesper of Radius. Let's get started. Destiny 2's class abilities provide a basic identity for each of the three playable classes. Warlocks feel supportive because of their healing and damage-boosting rifts. Now what if I told you your Warlock Rift could be offense and support at the same time? The Vesper of Radius special perk Planetary Torrent does that and more. Rifts release an Arc Shockwave when cast, and Rift Energy recharges faster when surrounded by enemies. The damage from the Shockwave is moderate. It doesn't always kill red bar enemies, but it does push targets away from you, making it a nice oh shit button for when the Cabal sick their dogs on you. The real claim to fame for this item is the second effect. Rifts are the most important aspect of the Warlock's gameplay. Placing them down when and where your teammates need them can make or break you in Destiny 2's more challenging content. Having access to them more often won't make you better at placing them down intelligently, but it will give you more opportunities. The only downside is the required playstyle for optimizing this item is very aggressive. If you like to sit back and relax, this is not the right item for you. But if you're already accustomed to throwing caution to the wind, this will be an exciting addition to your build. The Vesper of Radius synergizes well with the Devour Warlock because of its increased health sustain. With that in mind, the Stormcaller's Attunement of Elements has a lot of potential too. The Arc Souls perk allows you and your allies to gain a small Arc Soul whenever they enter a Rift. The Arc Soul shoots nearby enemies. Couple the Rising Storm perk that increases your Rift recharge rate when nearby allies with the Planetary Turret buff from this exotic, and you could literally have a 100% uptime on your little lightning buddies. The potential is there, but I'd be lying if I said this was easy to pull off, especially in the higher difficulty content. With that in mind, if you find a good balance of aggressive and passive play, the Vesper of Radius will be truly amazing. So, we've established this item is phenomenal in PvE, but what about the Crucible? Well, you'll very rarely find yourself surrounded by enemies and surviving for more than a fraction of a second, so you won't be getting much time shaved off your cooldowns. But you can do some goofy things with your Rift. Is it worth it? Probably not. There are a lot of excellent exotic choices that cater more specifically to PvP. But the fun factor was there. I did have fun zapping people with my healing rift. Overall, this is an amazing looking exotic with a special perk that rivals its appearance. Its special effect requires a change in playstyle to something a bit more aggressive to fully optimize, but once you're used to the demands, you'll be a lean, mean rift summoning machine. That was really corny. I wrote that down. I didn't have to say it. I could have thought for a little while and come up with something better than lean, mean rift summoning machine. Ugh. Ridiculous. With all of that said, the name of the game, it's Destiny 2. The name of the channel is iBlueAir JGR Gaming for Comedy. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment because it will make me very happy and maybe it will improve the quality of my jokes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.